Katie did what most of us do on Thanksgiving. He decided to go and visit family in Seattle. I didn't get up the whole time. Uh, so when I got off the plane, uh, my leg was stiff, my whole body was stiff. I just thought it was because I'd been in the plane for five hours. My calf started to ache a few days after that, uh, and it just continued for about a week. He finished his trip, came back home, and all of a sudden he started feeling chest discomfort. He got shorter breath and it was a struggle for him to speak or even walk or do his usual activities. Me being a little hard-headed, I just kind of went a couple of days with that happening. Um, then I started actually having some pain uh, in my chest along with the shorts of breath. Um, and that really concerned me. I went to urgent care and they basically referred me to the hospital, went to the hospital, get checked out at that point. And they saw uh, from the x-rays and some of the other CT scans that they gave me uh, that the clots were putting extra pressure on my heart and just giving me simple medicine or blood thinners wasn't going to be enough. So the doctor advised me that I would probably need uh, a surgery to go in and bust up a lot of the clots. But we managed to use uh, medications and equipment to dissolve the clot and allow his body to start the cleaning process. So pulmonary embolism is a common disease, unfortunately. It's a real disease with very serious consequences. It's estimated that 600,000 Americans will develop pulmonary embolism every year. It's also estimated that up to 150,000 Americans die from pulmonary embolism every year. But I'm feeling great, uh, you know, feeling back to my old self. Uh, I think it kind of woke me up. Novant has made it its mission to increase awareness about pulmonary embolism and actually the capabilities to deliver these important services to our patients.